A bag contains five green marbles, three white marbles, and four blue marbles. Find the probability that when drawing two marbles without replacement, there is one green and one white marble. Okay, so I've highlighted some key phrases in the problem. They're going to help us determine what method to use to solve it. The word probability, of course, indicates it's a probability question. The fact that we're selecting more than one marble, we're selecting two marbles in this case, that indicates we'll be using the multiplication rule to solve the problem. They tell us that the selections are going to be made without replacement. That indicates that this scenario will be a dependent case, so it's the dependent rule for multiplication rule. And then, of course, we're looking for the probability that these two marbles turn out so that one of them is green and one of them is white. So let's go ahead and write a probability statement to help solve the problem. So we're going to have probability that we end up with one green marble and one white marble. So normally, if we have two marbles being drawn, we would have two spaces to fill in the appropriate probabilities. But if you look at this space and I asked, what does this first space represent? You would say, well, that's the first marble, right? The first marble that's selected. And I would want you to tell me then, how is it going to turn out? Is it going to be green or white, for example? And I think when you think about this problem, you would kind of be tempted to say it could be either, right? Because it really doesn't matter. If it's green, then, of course, the next one should be white. But if it's white, then the next one should be green. So it would almost seem that it doesn't matter. But whenever you have that ambiguity where you don't know exactly how it should turn out, if you can't say precisely it must be a green marble or it must be a white marble, if you can't say that definitively, it means that we're not doing this right. So that's not going to work. That means this is not going to work. So if we know that method's not going to work, that means we need to rethink this statement. This statement is not clear enough. So let's write it again. But this time I'm going to think about how I can possibly have this happen. What are the different scenarios where I end up with a green marble and one white marble? Well, I think there are two ways that can happen. One way is to get a green marble first and a white marble second. Or it could also turn out that I have a white marble first and a green marble second. And this word or in probability means we should add. That means our probability is going to be probability of getting a green marble with a white marble plus the probability of getting a white marble and then a green marble. Again, the word or indicates addition. So now we have two probability statements that each involve selecting two marbles, but I can work these out in a more definitive way. So for example, this first one will be solved by creating two spaces of probability. But now, this first marble is what? First is green. So I know exactly that probability. So if I need to do that problem, I can answer that. Because I know the likelihood the first marble is green. And then this second one is going to be the probability that the second is what? Is white, right? The second is white. Then I'll have a plus sign. And I'll have a space times a space. Again, this first one is going to be the probability the first is white, right? The first is white. And the second space is going to be the probability the second is green. Forgive me, second is green. Okay, so what's the probability the first is green? I can figure that out because I know how many marbles we have, right? Remember, first is green is just going to be, just remember that number of over total approach, right? So in this case, it'd be number of green over total, right? Number of white over total, number of white, number of green, etc. So let's say the first one is going to be number of green over total. The second fraction will be number of white over the total left. I'll explain what that means in a moment, but I think it's probably self-explanatory. Let's look at this one, though. Number of green over total. How many green marbles are there? Well, according to the problem, there are five green marbles. So the top here will be five. Divided by a total number of marbles, well, there's five marbles, three and four. So five and three make eight, and four more make 12. That's a total of 12 marbles total. So five twelves for the first probability. What's the probability the second marble is white? Well, there are three white marbles, so there'll be three white marbles. The number of white is three. How many total marbles left? Remember that we're assuming that we're doing this without replacement. So that means we're not going to put the marble back in. So that means there will only be 11 marbles in the bag by the time I go back in. All right, so that's the first scenario. On the second scenario, we're doing the first is white. So this would be just number of white over total. 
again, we're starting over as if nothing has happened. The bag is renewed back to its normal state, and we're looking for the probability that the first marble we take would end up being white. Well, there are three white marbles. Over how many total marbles? Well, uh, again, same as before, 5 and 3 make 8, plus 4 is 12. Now it'll be the second is green, but it'll be basically number of green over total left, right? So how many green marbles are there? Well, there are five marbles at that point, because we haven't taken a green marble yet. Five green ones. How many total marbles left? Well, only 11 left, because we took out a marble initially. That marble was a white marble. Okay, so that's your answer. You basically have to evaluate that. So this isn't too bad. That's going to be 15 plus 15. So it ends up being 30 on top, divided by 12 times 11, which of course is 132. And then if you want to reduce that one, you can reduce it and evaluate that as a decimal. So we'll have 30 divided by 132 and get the answer 0 0.227.